Yeah. Answer this real quick. No. In and out or Culver's? Ooh. I mean, you can't you can't ask a California guy in and out because it's it's the it's the ultimate. It's the goat of, of burgers. Right. So their <laughs> fries are bad. Okay. Their fries yeah. are terrible. Yeah. Um, you have to do oh, animal style, otherwise they're fries. You gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> their burgers are really good though. Yeah, when I moved to Phoenix, I definitely burned myself out on the in and out burgers. And so I was like, man, these aren't because there was one like half a mile from my place. And so I was like, we're I'm in there. Uh then I laid off. I was like, these aren't that good anymore. And I laid off for like two months and I went back and I was like, this is incredible. This is fantastic. <laughs> They're good at it, man. They're good at what yeah, they do. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I had a buddy in high, in uh, college when I lived out in California who worked there. So I would pick him up from work, and he would always get me uh, a free, a free, a double double, and then animal fries. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll pick you up anytime you want. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like every day, I would sign yeah, up for that. Yeah, yeah, I'll drop you off, take you, bring you back, like whatever you want. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing in California. Well, one of many things in California that I do miss is is uh in and out but speaking of california uh, let's talk some uh some uh <laughs> dodgers and uh your team out there um they can they catch the giants and avoid that one game wild card scenario because the brewers we had that one game in uh 2019 and uh it didn't go our way and when you have such uh you see this every year i think uh in 19 maybe it was the, uh, the Yankees who were a hundred plus win team and they were a wild card team because uh, the Red Sox that year had a uh, one, you know, just an incredible amount. Maybe that was in 2018, but uh, how, do you think they can catch the giants? I hope so, man. I, I still, I'm kind of like baffled how the giants are still doing this. Like they're, Oh, I think they're first or second in home runs. And I don't think San Francisco has ever really been a home run park. Like I, I don't get it. And they're all of a sudden their pitching is unbelievable. And, I think one of the keys is Buster Posey coming back because he sat out because of COVID. Like, that's a big deal behind the plate, how to handle a staff and call pitches. And he's obviously been a great hitter. And Brandon Crawford, the shortstop's been going crazy mm -hmm. this year. So everything's just happening for them. I don't know what it – I don't get it. Um, but they're they're really good. So it's going to be hard to catch them. Uh, the Dodgers just keep getting hurt, like pitching and, and their position players. They just keep getting hurt. So – um, I don't know. They're it's like the Dodgers are what nine and one in the last ten. The Giants are eight and two. Like they're barely just like we can't get gain any ground really. So I'm just happy the noisy Padres are farther away now. We don't need to hear them. They're little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy because they they were like the talk of town, mm -hmm. uh, and they won the off season, right? For sure. Um, and, and they came into LA and swept the Dodgers earlier this year, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, this is the Padres' year. Here we go." Yeah, they started but feeling themselves a little. They bit. did, and then uh, yeah. they're only what a game. I think they'll be after this. I think I don't know if the Reds won or not. I'm trying to see here. They did. No, win, they lost. So. They lost. Or no, they didn't. Okay. Yeah. No, the Reds won six oh, to one okay. against the Marlins. Uh, so now I think. I think they're only a game back from the Padres. Uh, do you think the Padres missed the playoffs? Because that would be such a story of after, you know, like you said, winning the offseason and signing all these different players and making trades and having the no hitter at the beginning of the season. Right. You know, and then having, especially having Tatis um, and missing the playoffs. That's what, that would be wild. I think he's just been, he's had two injury or IL stints, like yeah. he, or three maybe. He just gets hurt a lot. And so I, I, I'm surprised they stuck him in the outfield. Like, what, he's not going to dive for balls out there, too? Like, <laughs> he's still going to be the same player. Um, and he's he's a phenomenal player. And, uh, and Machado's great. But uh, I think uh, Blake Snell has been the disappointment there for the Padres. Yeah. Like, you know, like he was supposed mm -hmm. to be, and Darvish, and they're loaded, too. Um, but they've, they've been hurt also. So, um, I don't know. I'm just happy I don't have to. They're a little farther back now, so we don't have to hopefully not deal with them. But they're Who great. Would you rather see, though, <laughs> the the Reds or, or the, oh, Padres the Reds one game wild card. I mean, the Reds. I don't even know good. how the Reds. Why are the Reds good right now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> outside of Joey Votto, like why are the Reds good? Uh, well, they have the Castellanos perhaps, or whatever. Castellanos, he's kind of been down lately. Yeah, but, he's not, but yeah, Joey Votto. I was here reading some uh, an article that he may be he may be a sneaky favorite to. Uh, or not a favorite, but a sneaky pick to win MVP in the National League if he keeps up what he's doing because he's playing at an incredible rate right now. Yeah, but they also have uh, Jonathan India, the potentially the National Rookie of the Year, yeah. uh, depending on uh, uh, the pitcher for the Marlins. He's missed some time. Can't think of his name. Trevor Richards? No, not Trevor Richards. He's 
the other one, but um, the young rookie, the Marlins pitcher who's missing time with family uh, emergency and all that. So oh, okay. Jonathan India is really just kicked down the door and taking kind of a, a hold on the MVP or sorry, the r- rookie of the year for uh, the national league. And then they have Winker who's just, especially against the oh, yeah. Brewers. Like every time the Brewers play him, like he's always getting hits against us. So, um they have some really good they have a really good offense it's just their bullpen has really struggled so if, if there's gonna be an, any issue that keeps them from the playoffs it would be their bullpen yeah but uh yeah man. i think the padres are better than the reds though if, if oh, you put them in sure. a series yeah. yeah 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 but it's not a series it's, it'll be a one game play right if it's the one game yeah anything can happen so exactly anything. that's uh and that's hard too, because like, who do you who do you decide to pitch for that one game? Because then the series starts right after that, and you got to line up your rotation. Like, do you put your best or second best guy out there? Because you have to win that game. So, it's it's a tough decision.